The control room mixer has one other hidden little gem. It's called Mix Convert. It's a plug-in that in Cubase is only available on the control room mixer. And so really, you can't really use it as an insert per se. It's also available in Nuendo where you can use it as an insert, but it makes more sense there because Nuendo is a post-production audio environment and you're more apt to use it as a surround environment as well. But for our purposes, we're going to assume that we're mixing in stereo and we want to create a quick mono mix to compare so that uh, if our mix is ever down mixed later on down the chain, we can make sure that a mono mix will sound just as good as our stereo mix in terms of balance. Because sometimes some instruments can pop out, they can recede, so you want to make sure that your mix in mono sounds decent uh, before it goes out. And so in order to do that, we use Mix Convert, which is available through this little arrow right here. It opens Mix Convert, and Mix Convert takes whatever it's given, and in this case, it's a, config, a stereo configuration, and it gets that from the fact that the monitor one channel is a stereo monitor. It's not a surround monitor. If it was a surround monitor, Mix Convert would understand that it's a surround monitor, and it would make this input configuration accordingly. And then it will change it or down mix it to, in this case, the only option is mono. But if it was a surround input, you could down mix to stereo and mono. So that's what Mix Convert does in a nutshell. It also allows you to, to, to reverse phase on individual speakers and such like that. Now, there are four Mix Convert presets available, and they are located over here. So each one of these presets represents settings in the Mix Convert plugin. And so right now we're set to preset number one, and that does nothing, basically. It takes, Mix Convert takes the stereo input and outputs a stereo output. Preset number two then takes the stereo input and outputs a mono output. And for fun, I've made a preset number three that takes the stereo input, reverses the phase on one of the speakers, and then outputs that. And again, it's just for fun, for demonstration purposes, to show you three different presets. Now you can switch between the presets just like I did with these buttons here in the preset section, or you can cycle between the presets with this button here. Much as you would cycle the monitor button or monitor speakers with this button here. Now, so if I start my project, of course, in stereo, in the first preset stereo, it'll play it in stereo. And if I switch between that to mono, it now plays it in mono. And then, of course, number three is that phase reverse preset, which makes everything screwed up. But again, it's just for demonstration. But I do want to point out that each monitor will remember which preset it's on. So monitor one, we're set to right now, and it remembers it's on preset number three. But monitor two remembers that it was on preset number one. So there's only four presets, and they're shared between the monitors, but each monitor will remember which preset it's on. And that sort of becomes important when you're working with surround and you want to have one monitor specifically for surround and another monitor specifically as a downmix monitor or a stereo configuration monitor or whatever you want to set up. So that's an easy way to get a mono mix created quickly so that you can compare it and make adjustments accordingly so that there's no surprises later on down the line when you're your music becomes mono and gets played mono by the end user. The next thing and the last big thing that the control room mixer is good for is external inputs. And I'm going to cover that in the next video.